Tell me about the sweet inspirations. Well, sweet, well, sweet inspiration came about just by, uh, we were singing all that time. They would just call them sissies girls. You know, so the uh, 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 Jerry Wexler at that time figured we might have a name, should have a name if we were going to go record and do so. He named it, I call it Sweet Inspirations, because he said we gave so much inspiration in our songs and whatnot, so he just said, put sweet there. Said, okay. <laughs> so we assumed that name, Sweet Inspirations. Mm -hmm. And had a yeah. major hit. Yeah. What was that like? <laughs> Hard. <laughs> it, it was good. It was very good. Everything was good. I don't remember a time I didn't enjoy it until it just got too much, you know. You just go out and people grow and cheap people change and do different things, you know what I'm saying? And I really wasn't into all of that, so that's when I left, you know. Uh, we Elvis, we went to work for Elvis Presley for five weeks, and uh, and it was wonderful. He was wonderful. I loved him. He was such a gentleman and all that to me, you know. Tell me about that. Tell, get, get. <laughs> well, when they first called, the girl said, oh, Elvis Presley, oh, my God, what are we going to do? I said, hey, it's a good gig and it's a good one. <laughs> uh huh. So um, we went, and when we got there, it was nothing like what we might have thought, you know, because it was just wonderful. Well, it was really wonderful. He was into gospel, so every once in a while, when we finished rehearsing with him, we just sing gospel, all of us, you know, and we just had a good time. He would get good money and good pay and good. It was nice atmosphere. You know, and we didn't go around with him as his friends. We worked for him. So we saw him at work or at rehearsals. So I don't know what he did in between, nor did I care. You know, mm -hmm. I just doing what I was supposed to do. And we were. So uh, people said he was prejudiced. I said, well, I never felt his prejudice. Mm -hmm. And I don't think he was prejudiced, you know. He treated everyone, everyone the same. Everyone the same. He had black singers and white singers. He's had the Imperials, who was a men's group, very popular men's group. And we were the girls' group. It's been inspiration, so. I think people have, you know, certain stereotypes about him. I think so. Yeah. Because he was a wonderful person, so good-looking. You just didn't want to even look nowhere else. <laughs> <laughs> he was. He was so handsome. But he was just this nice, fun you know, he cracked jokes and all that kind of crap. He would be singing and he'd make you laugh and whatnot. <laughs> so we had a good time. We uh -huh. had a good run with him. Uh -huh. And then I left the group and they still work with him. Why'd you leave the group? He's dead, huh? Why did you leave the group? Because my children were getting bigger and I felt that they really needed me home. And if I, I had a contract on my own. So that's what I did. I went home and and look for uh, music and whatnot to sing and then to record. And that I spent that time with my children. And focused on developing a career as a single artist. Mm -hmm. 